hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is mercedes and today we are continuing with our story time week Woo! how are you guys enjoying it so far so yeah let me know in the comments down below so yeah today's story is going to be about my worst date ever listen don't get me wrong i've had so many dates in my lifetime okay but well i'll tell you about a few of the weird ones that i've been through before i get into this one because this one was just, it was just weird, okay? It was just weird. So, I remember once, actually, um, <laughs> so, guys, I remember once uh, me and Coco were in town, I think it was around Christmas time, and we basically went to um, get something. So, we, um, we were sent to town by mum to get something, and it was basically, no, we're sent, you know when you order something online, and then you have to go and pick it up, so it was one of those, you, um, so basically mum's like, both of you go, go together and pick up some, you know, some of this stuff for me in town, and then we were like, oh, okay, cool, so like I'm always saying, from my house to town was literally like a 10, 15 minute walk, it wasn't that far at all. Anyways, on our way, we basically went to town, picked up the stuff, and then we had like literally loads and loads of bags in our hands. And then we were walking, and then this guy who had a two-seater car, you know, like back in the day, the things that used to like excite me were just literally ridiculous. Like I'm not even going to lie. So anyway, this guy um, came up to me, and his name was Carlos. So yeah, guys, tell me what kind of a man is called Carlos when they are Nigerian, like. And then Carlos lied to me that he was basically from Mexico, but my guy was from Nigeria. So anyways, I was like, okay, but at the time I didn't really think about it. So anyways, Carlos had a two-seater car, guys, and he hollered at your girl and then asked to basically give me a lift home. And then what does Mercy do? I basically, <laughs> I said to Coco, listen, yeah, I'm trying to secure, take one for the team. I'm gonna get in this two-seater car and then this guy's gonna drive me home. So basically, yes, I basically left Coco stranded in the middle of town to go in a two-seater car with Carlos. And then since then, Coco legit, she, hates two-seater cars guys and every time she sees one she's like why does anyone need a two-seater car anyway like what's the point because you can't even have anyone else in the back and you can't even do anything with it but yeah that's what happened i basically met this guy then i ditched coco in the middle of town and i let carlos drive me home so yeah i saved my feet and i ditched my sister and i know that's rude i'm always like I'm always deep in that story and be like, right. <laughs> I can only imagine if Coco did that to me. Like, she would never ever hear the end of it. Anyways, listen, there's a God for everyone. Karma is a bitch. So, what then happened was Carlos asked me on a date, basically arranged a date. So, yeah, he comes and he picks me up in his two seater car. The time I was excited. I'm like, ooh, I got a man with a two seater car. <laughs> Like it was a nice sports car guys. It was a really nice sports car. Anyways, he basically picks me up and we go on our date. I had seen Carlos basically sat down in his in his little sports car, right? And I hadn't seen him like obviously I hadn't seen him like you know when you meet someone you sit down and you hug and then you go about your way. So yeah, I met Carlos whilst he was sat, guys. So, when you meet people whilst they're sat, you don't know whether they're, you know, you, you don't, you can't quite gauge their height and how, how tall they are, okay? So, we get to town now, and then I come out the car, and then Carlos comes out the car now, and he was a midget who wore palazzos, like... <laughs> Guys, like he can't have been over five foot. Like, I'm never gonna lie to you. He can't have been over five foot. Anyways, I was like, for all who know me, yeah, for you guys who know me, my mom will tell you that I am very like. So, anyways, I was like, rah, like, I literally got finessed by a midget. How come this guy did not tell me that he was a leprechaun? Like, how, why did he not tell me that he was this short? Like, obviously, now, mum has been teaching me about, um, 
humbleness and humility i no longer obviously judge people on how they look and their height so yeah but back in the day when i met carlos i literally was like god why on earth would you send a midget my way like this can't be happening to me like i'm the kind of person that would like i would have been like listen yeah i'm going to the toilet and i'll be back and then you won't ever see me again so yeah so yeah, carlos comes out of the car now and he is so short guys i don't think i can even put the emphasis like i don't even think i can actually like tell you like how short this man was this man was short like he was tiny he could have been like a norm like he like a, you know like a norm like a garden norm but yeah he was so tiny guys i just i couldn't anyway so yeah we went um we basically went on our date i think we must have gone to nando's or something nando's was my spot back in the day Woo, nando's yeah i was nando's gang every single day let's go to nando's so basically we went to nando's and i was really trying to ignore these ignore that he was not ignore that carlos was hardly there like he was not there like I tried to ignore the fact that he was really short and I tried to and then ugh, guys the palazzos is what made it worse you know you know what palazzo, palazzos are like guys they're like it's like when men wear book cut jeans like why are you wearing book cut jeans like I don't understand why are you wearing book cut jeans I'm in his palazzos and I'm looking at him like rah like out of all the things you could have chosen to wear to come and see me you chose to wear a palazzo today of all days you could have worn a palazzo any other day of the year they freaking january to december why did you choose to meet me wearing a palazzo and to be honest this is your everyday outfit here yeah? then listen cut it cut it cut it cut it yeah you need to cut it like do 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 with my little lap leprechaun of a man and then we get to Nando's now and to make it to make everything worse Carlos the leprechaun the midget was a freaking gobshite like he really really liked to chat shit like I've never met a man who opens his mouth and everything that just comes out of his mouth is freaking garbage like it was just it was rubbish and I was thinking to myself wait so is this what I dumped my sister for like what is this you, you'll be glad to hear that I survived through this, this first date. So guys, it came after this date, Carlos kept messaging me like, oh, um, come to my house, come to my house, I want to cook for you. I'm like, no, I'm good, thanks. I'm good with Nando's. Do you want to, like, Nando's was good. Nando's was fine, thank you. And I don't need any more food from you. It's okay, my mum feeds me. This guy was trying to finesse me, finesse me, finesse me into coming to his house. I'm like, don't try and finesse me to come to your house because I don't want to come to your house. What's in your house that you're really trying to beg me to come to your house for? Like, are you trying to kill me? Are you trying to murder me? Like, why are you, do you keep insisting that I should come to your house? So anyways, he basically, I was like, if anything, you can take me to the cinema. So, cinema and food. So yeah, I would have had my dose or whatever it was and i would have gotten to watch a movie and i would have gotten to watch a movie so now to me that sounds like a win-win situation because everyone knows that going to the cinema is like a really horrible date like going to the cinema is like the most non-interactive date that you can go on you are literally there watching this movie and you don't even have to have conversation with this person and literally does that literally not like does, is that not sound to your ears like hallelujah so carlos basically tried to say oh I can't um, take you to the cinema because I was banned from coming to High Cross. No, no, I didn't say, hey, he goes that he was banned from going to the cinema and that he couldn't go to the cinema and that he basically caught a case over the cinema and some really, really like stupid idea. But then I was like, listen, yeah, that is the end of you. That is the end of this. And basically we are done. So yeah, now, the other weirdest day I've been on, right, oh gosh, um, there was this club back in the day in Leicester, I think it was called, oh, I forgot what it was called in it, but the club was bathing, yeah, it was bad. the club was bathing, and as you guys know, if you live in my city, like, black people kind of just 
congregate in one place so yeah this club was that popping that all the black people all the guys and if you want to meet someone you would literally go to that club every single sat friday and saturday to see what was wagon with a wagon so anyways so yeah me and coco went must have gone to this club now oh yeah must have gone to this club and basically i met a guy so then we must have swapped numbers and he asked me to i'll call him we'll call this one blessing no he wasn't even a blessing it was a freaking curse um we'll name this guy john so anyways i went to the club and i met john at the club so me and john must have swapped numbers and he asked me on a date the next day anyways you know sometimes when guys meet girls in the club don't always assume that you know they're all like Ooh, anything or anything kind of thing like they'll just do anything and they're wild and they're crazy and Ooh, ha, ha, ha. and don't even try it. like don't try that fine another free meal another cinema day okay so now the next day i'm out here dress up in my cute little dress get to town and i'm supposed to meet this guy I feel like you should always be the first one to get to the date guys just so you can see what the person looks like when they're coming towards you because sometimes I feel like you meet people uh, back in the day and you don't really remember what they really look like because snapchat and things like that weren't that big like that like I wasn't into it like that so yeah you meet people and then you really forget what they look like because you would have met them the night before and then you agree to go on this date so they text you the next morning like oh yeah i was still going on a date and you're like oh yeah cool i'm coming so basically we went on our date like when i saw this guy coming i was like okay mercy congratulations you played yourself once again guys another undesirable and you know the thing with undesirables they always show their true colors eventually they will always show their true colors and it was like oh hi hi it wasn't really like there was no chemistry like i just knew that there was no chemistry so it wasn't like oh ooh, you know hi like hugging each other for days and excited no it was basically like hi so we went into this um restaurant and then he's like okay like you know no more date procedures would you like anything to eat i'm like you know what i'm all right thank you i'm good would you like anything anything to drink i'm like um yes please i can have a water so this guy goes to the bar now comes back with a bottle of wine and i'm like okay so you offered me a drink i told you i wanted water but clearly that wasn't good enough for you you decided to bring a bottle of wine instead with two glasses like who asked you you really shouldn't have so anyways he brings his two glasses of wine and his bottle so i'm thinking okay we must have a third member coming to this date because that glass can't possibly be for me now mom is always saying do not drink on the first date or to be honest when you go out on dates you're better off not drinking at all so yeah, I'm like, there must be a third member to this date. We must be a trio because I don't know who this guy is buying this wine for because I've basically said I wanted water. So anyways, we get into talking, talking, talking. He pours his two glasses, gives one to me and goes, let's go clink, clink. I'm like, uh, no thanks. I'm good. I basically said, well, I said I don't drink. I was like, I'm so sorry, but... I don't drink so to me naturally when you say that to someone it's like oh okay she doesn't drink and I'll, I'll just cut my loss and I'll go get the water like you were supposed to so yeah no my guy didn't do that he was like oh just try it it's really nice and I'm like mister I'm not disputing or not agreeing that your wine must be the loveliest wine that's ever been made on this earth but I really really do not feel like having some wine he was like oh okay 
two minutes later oh babes you know nigerians nigerians are sweet with the tongue now and you know this whole baby baby babe thing honey sweet sugar potato like so yeah he was trying it he was like oh um just take a sip of wine just um try it it will like lose it will like relax you i'm like i didn't tell you i was tense i'm already relaxed like if i'm tense i'll just quickly do this i don't need to consume alcohol thank you and god bless so anyway this guy literally was not having it guys you know he was like forcing me to actually drink when i've said to him multiple times that i didn't want to drink so i'm thinking wait why are you trying to force me to drink so much like i don't understand i can still have the best of times sober like i'm good you don't need to force me to have alcohol like most of this date finished most of this date finished with this guy trying to convince me to have his wine but i think at this point he must have john must have really really been getting vexed at me and i'm thinking but why would you get vexed at me now you look and sound like a psycho like who does that like when you go on the date yeah i hope you're sweetening and saying sweet things to your ladies even if what they're saying you may not like it but you don't take a turn for the worst and force drinks down people's throats and you start being rude so he's here like oh just take the drink i'm like no i don't want the drink i'm good and then now the movie must have been about eight o'clock and eight o'clock we're still in the restaurant he's still sipping on his wine on his own and trying still trying to convince me to have some wine i'm like no he doesn't end up finishing his drink and he basically finishes his glass and then he takes mine drinks that too takes the bottle puts it in his coat and he's like okay let's go to the cinema i'm like okay cool so we basically go to the cinema and then i can't remember what movie it was we watched a movie and then the movie finished and he was like oh okay let me walk you home and i was like okay fine that's fine so yeah anyways it was a bit dark so he basically walked me home we got like two streets away from where i lived so i was like um i think i'm good here sir um you've left me close enough i literally pointed at some random house i'm like my house is just there by the way so it's been nice thank you i appreciate it and see you never so he basically walks me home and then i was like the least i can give you sir is a hug for the free oh i didn't even end up getting the water but for the cinema and nothing so anyways hug hug i'm like oh yeah there off i go and then he goes his own way so i must have stopped talking to him and then later on i met another guy who we'll call him mark so yeah later on i met mark but to what i didn't know was that mark and john were acquaintances because they were both nigerian so they were both nigerian and you know what africans are like we're all intertwined in one way or the other so they must have known each other from god knows where so yeah me and mark were talking and to be honest it was going pretty well but probably that's another story time mark had a baby and you know what mum is like with dating people with children so she was basically against mark she was like uh, uh, no so yeah and then um for some reason me and mark probably were out then john must have seen me with mark or mark must have been like he's talking to someone and then he must have showed john a picture of me so one day me and Mark must have gone out and then I was coming back and then he dropped me off at home and then I got a text message from John like literally guys I got told about myself that day you know when someone reads you for no reason oh this is oh I see you're talking to Mark now this is why you didn't want to um, continue dating me because you're a little hoe all you go around is Going around just meeting different meeting different people and talking to different guys trying to make me look like i'm not shit well you're butters anyway a disgusting zimbabwean girl blah 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 and at the end of this text message my guy proceeded to call me a fuckaholic i'm like screw screw who are you calling a fuckaholic please have i fucked you no have i have i ever 
My guy called me a fuckaholic. I was so shocked. I've never been told such words from a man. Not even my own mother has cussed me out like that. So I don't understand why some men feel like it's okay to take it upon themselves to call women names in general. Like that's just like the most disrespectful, the most rudest thing that I can ever, ever think of. Okay, guys, I have never actually been called something like that ever in my life. I was really, really shocked. So I took it upon myself to basically go do thinking. To be honest, when a man is that emotional and they resort to cussing out a girl, a woman, I feel like you are literally like, you're off your rockers, like you're mad. Why would you even think that it's okay to call someone names because they don't want to be with you or because they don't think that you're the right person for them? So yeah, I was thinking like, I actually had a lucky escape. We move on and then I was like doing, I really, really was like, why would he react this way? So anyways now, so I basically was like, wait, Mark, do you know a John? He was like, um, yeah, like, but we're not friends. It's just like an acquaintance kind of thing. So I was like, he said this to me and then he was like but why when John is got a wife back in Nigeria I was like you don't say so yeah guys John actually had a wife in Nigeria and he was married and it just makes it everything just makes him even seem even crazier because you're married you're busy coming to England instead of making money for your family and grinding and working, you're here whoring and calling women fuckaholics and calling women names. Like you need to get you need to sort it out, mate. Like seriously. So and then we bumped into each other in the club. So obviously I'm here enjoying myself because I'm not even gonna pay attention to the fact that you're in the same place that I'm at because you're not here you don't exist you're rude i don't have time for it i'm sorry so next let's move on because so anyways dancing 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 and then he notices me and our eyes literally like you know when you like your eyes meet with someone but you kind of you don't want to talk to them and you will try your best to scratch at the floor or It'd be like looking at the time like it was literally one of those moments and I, you know sometimes you just know when someone's about to come to you with some bs and some stupid some some stupid ass apology like you just know there's actually just like a kind of look about them that they just look at you and say see 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 and you just know that they're coming so anyways that's what this stupid man decided to do he decided to come over to me and say to me oh mercy do you remember me? Yeah, of course I remember you. You're the abusive man who sent me abusive messages. Like, how can... Literally, how can I forget someone calling me such? So anyways... And sometimes men are so weird. Like, when you don't want to hear their apology and they know that you don't want to hear their apology, they'll continue speaking to themselves. And it's like, why are you talking to yourself when I'm not responding and clearly I don't want to talk to you? So anyways... So this man was like, oh, I'm sorry for what I said and I really, really want to apologize. I really, really want to apologize. And I was like, okay. Then he goes, oh, let me buy you a bottle. So yeah, again, you think you can be bribing me with alcohol. Like, you tried to get me drunk on the date that me and you went on and now you're trying to buy my apology with a bottle of Covercier or Jack Daniels, like you're mad. And then I was like, no. Then he goes, oh, please, please. I just, you know, it's just like a sorry, like, I don't, you know, I'm just really, really sorry. Come on, mercy, let me buy you a bottle. And I was like, no. Then I was like, wait, if that's what you want to do and you want to buy a bottle and you want to give it to me and just for the sake of being generally petty like i'm not even I'm not even gonna drink it but 
if you waste 80 pounds on a bottle of jack daniels or covers here 100 pounds i'm just gonna take it and i will pour it somewhere i'll probably i'll literally be walking around pouring people free drinks so if you want to buy this bottle that you're forcing me to have please go buy it and hand it over so yeah my guy's like oh no 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 you if i buy a bottle you can't have it we have to drink it together i was like no i don't want to share a drink with you like i don't want you to buy a bottle so that we can share like me and you are friends like me and you aren't anything so please just leave me alone and guess what guys he cussed me out again like yeah 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 whatever you stupid little bitch i was like rah like men sometimes some men are so crazy like they're actually so crazy oh so, yeah guys that was one of my craziest experiences that i've ever had well they were not the craziest i've had a few more um but those are the two that stand out for me shouting at women was natural to him he just literally like words just fell off his tongue to cuss women and think that he can get away with it with either apologizing with bottles of alcohol or cussing you at someone so yeah guys this is um story time week so if you guys are enjoying the videos please do not forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below and of course subscribe to my channel and i will see you tomorrow